We've already talked about VMC, uh, and we've completed the table there. Now I want to talk about increasing performance. If we want to increase the performance uh, of an aircraft, which in this case represents uh, increased rate of climb. So really, what we're doing here is we're not talking about uh, increased performance in and of itself, we're talking about increased rate of climb. And uh, let's see, if you want to increase the rate of climb of an aircraft, you want the center of gravity to move aft. Now how come that is? Well, let's say you have an aircraft uh, right here. It's in a climb, so there's its tail. And uh, if you want the airplane to climb, then for the amount of weight that it has, you have to create more lift. So here's the aircraft. It's got more lift than it does weight, so this airplane will be climbing. Uh, if we didn't do that, for example, if we had it something like that, then the airplane would be descending. It's got more weight than it does lift. So let's redraw that. Here's the airplane. It's making more lift than it is weight, which means that it is climbing. Uh, and I think we'll make that even a bit more obvious still. There we go. That's plenty obvious. Weight, lift, more lift than weight, uh, which means the airplane will be climbing. Cool. Now, uh, we were talking about center of gravity. Moving the center of gravity aft will actually increase the rate of climb of the airplane. Why is that? Well, let's take this guy right here and see if I can move him. I guess I can't. Um, we'll do this. There we go. Now we've got two airplanes uh, completely identical. And what we're going to say is we're going to say uh, this one has a center of gravity very far forward. And this one has a center of gravity that's well aft. Now, in order to hold the nose up, uh, in order to keep the nose of the airplane up, uh, the tail has to create a downward force. Uh, the elevator is in the back, the tail creates a downward force. And over here, the tail also creates a downward force. Now what do we notice? Because the center of gravity is well aft, the tail on this aircraft right here does not need to create as much of a downward force as this one to keep the nose up. Because the center of gravity is already well back, um, the center of gravity in and of itself is helping to move uh, the tail down and the nose up. So the tail doesn't need to create a whole ton of downforce in order to get the nose up, whereas over here the tail does create a whole bunch of downforce in order to keep the nose up. When you add those downforces, uh, you take, for example, you take this downforce on the tail, what it's really doing is it's really creating additional downforce on the plane. and over here, same thing. <coughs> the additional downforce generated by the tail serves to cancel out some of the lift. So you lose lift here, you lose more lift right here. So this is actually your maximum lift, and this is actually your maximum lift. By moving the center of gravity aft, you have less downward force that the tail has to create, and as a result, you lose less lift because the tail cancels out, the tail moving downward cancels out some of the lift. It, adi it imposes additional downward forces on the aircraft. And when you have more lift remaining to overcome the weight, you're going to get a higher rate of climb. So, moving the center of gravity aft will increase rate of climb because you'll have less downward forces on the tail and therefore you'll have a greater excess lift available to cause the airplane to climb.